Just an hour ago, a Polk County judge deferred the sentence of a Des Moines teenager after she pleaded guilty to killing a man who she says raped her back in 2020. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Elias Johnson. As we said, it was just an hour or so ago, Piper Lewis learned her fate during a sentencing hearing. Our Zach Fisher was there, joins us live on what exactly happened in the courtroom. Zach. Yeah, Elias, so let's refresh your guys' minds really quick. 17-year-old Piper Lewis, then 15-year-old, was charged for killing 37-year-old Zachary Brooks, stabbing him over 30 times. As Elias mentioned, that sentence was deferred. She faced up to 20 years. Now, she was an alleged sex trafficking victim, and Zach Brooks was his ale or her alleged rapist. So what does deferred mean? That means zero jail time. She's on probation for five years. That will be served at a women's facility. There will be GPS tracking for the remainder of that five years. Now, Judge David Porter, during his sentencing, said uh, for his reasoning that he fears that she might return to the lifestyle of drugs if she did not have some type of support uh, in that women's facility. So hear from Lewis's statement prior to the sentence and her attorney's thoughts after. My story can change things. My story has changed me. The events that took place on that horrific day cannot be changed as much as I wish they could. That day, a combination of complicated actions took place, resulting in the death of a person as well as stolen innocence of a child. That's not the most important and pressing concern that she has. She wants to move on with her life. She's got her entire life in front of her. She has uh, all these opportunities ahead of her, so uh, the restitution is really not something that she's bothered by at this point. Now, he's mentioning restitution. There is, uh, in the Iowa Supreme Court, it's mandated by the legislature that $150,000 will need to be paid to Zachary Brooks's family from Lewis uh, as well. Now, there is a precedent for that. There was no way the judge could rule around that. The attorney mentioning there might be something in the future that would require Iowa State Supreme Court action. But right now, as you just heard him say, Lewis is just glad to not have to have to face those uh, 20 years, Elias. Zach, we appreciate you being there, not only for last week's hearing, but then what was decided today.